Okay, we need to talk quite a bit about some vocabulary. There is a lot of vocabulary terminology uh, that goes along with algebraic expressions. And these are things that you absolutely have to know. Because whenever we're working with um, algebra from here on out, we're going to talk in the using these words. And if you don't understand what the words are, it's going to be very difficult uh, for you to do what um, the problem is asking you or um, even to be able to follow along. So pay real close attention and go over these vocabulary over and over again. Okay, in an algebraic expression, terms are the things that are separated by either a plus or a minus. That's the basic idea of it. Now their official definition is a term is a number, a variable, or a product or quotient of numbers and variables raised to powers. Here we have an algebraic expression. Identify the terms in the following expression. Remember the more basic idea is terms are things that are separated by plus and minus signs. So we actually have five terms in this expression. Our first one is 2x to the fourth. That's a term. Our next term is 3x cubed. Now notice I did not have to put that plus sign. If I just say the number 5, we assume that I mean positive 5. But if, it, if I mean negative, then I have to specifically say negative. The next term is negative 5x squared. So you only have to put the negative sign, um, not the positive sign. And then the next term would be negative 8x and our last term here would be 12. Now again, notice I did not have to put the plus because if I just say the word 12, we assume that to be a positive 12. All right, now each term it has vocabulary within it. Each term is made up of a coefficient and a variable. The variable, of course, would be the letter part. The coefficient is the number part. So here we have um, three examples. We're going to name the coefficient in each one. Um, the coefficient here is the number in front of the variable. So for this term, it would be 2. What about this one? There is no number here in front of this x, but how many x's do we have if it just says x? Well, that would be a 1. You can think about it very similarly to if I just say pencil, how many do I mean? If I have one pencil, I don't need to necessarily say one pencil. I just say pencil and we assume it to be 1. Now here we have the term negative x. The number in front of the x here is actually a negative 1. When it comes to writing terms, if there is a 1, we don't write it. We assume it to be 1 if there's no number in front. All right. Now, if we just have a plain number with no variable, we call that a constant. Name the constant in this expression. Well, the only thing without a variable would be 12. So our constant term is 12. All right, a little bit more. When an algebraic expression is written properly, we call it descending order. This means our highest power of x comes first, and then it goes down in order until there are no more variables. When it's written properly, the first term is called the leading term. So the leading term in our example here would be 2x to the fourth. And the number in front of that variable is called the leading coefficient. So for our example, the leading coefficient would be 2.